Dubai already has the tallest building in the world, but now it's building another mega tower that could challenge its crown. The Burj Khalifa has been Dubai's global icon for over a decade, but Burj Azizi, set to rise by 2028, promises to be the world's new luxury skyscraper. So the question is, which tower truly wins? Dubai's present king or its future challenger? Height and scale. For skyscrapers, height is always the headline. The Burj Khalifa is unmatched at 828 meters and 163 floors. It holds a collection of records from the tallest building in the world to the highest occupied floor. Its sheer size is staggering. It dominates not just the Dubai skyline, but the global imagination. Tourists don't even need to know the numbers. One look at the tower rising above downtown Dubai says everything. Burj Azizi, meanwhile, is aiming for 725 meters, making it the world's second tallest once completed. With more than 131 floors, it will still dwarf almost every skyscraper on Earth. While it won't dethrone the Burj Khalifa in raw height, it plans to break a series of other records. The world's highest hotel lobby on the 111th floor, the highest observation deck on the 130th, the highest restaurant, and even the highest nightclub. In other words, if Burj Khalifa is about scale and symbolism, Burj Azizi is about lifestyle experiences at new heights. Timeline and construction. The Burj Khalifa was constructed between 2004 and 2010, during Dubai's most aggressive expansion phase. It opened at a critical moment, the aftermath of the 2008 global financial crisis. For Dubai, it was both a statement of resilience and ambition. People around the world saw the tallest building rise from the desert, and suddenly Dubai was on the map as a futuristic global hub. Burj Azizi's story is different. Construction officially began in 2025. In a world where Dubai already dominates global tourism, real estate, and architecture, it's not being built to put Dubai on the map. It's being built to solidify Dubai's position as the luxury capital of the future. Azizi Developments has set a target of completing the tower by 2028, giving it just three years of construction time. Unlike the Khalifa, which was a gamble for global recognition, Azizi is a refinement of Dubai's formula. Take everything that worked, luxury residences, world records, tourism, and package it into a next-generation tower. Design and architecture. Burj Khalifa's design is iconic and symbolic. Inspired by the Himenokalis desert flower, its spiraling step design reflects Islamic architectural patterns while also being highly functional for wind resistance. The narrowing spire makes it instantly recognizable worldwide wide, and it stands as a blend of cultural symbolism and futuristic design. Burj Azizi, on the other hand, takes a different approach. Its design is sleek, modern, and glass-heavy, emphasizing transparency, light, and expansive views. While it doesn't draw directly from Islamic heritage the way Khalifa does, it embodies a new kind of Dubai, global, futuristic, and centered on lifestyle. The focus isn't just how it looks from the outside, but how it feels from the inside. Massive open layouts, floor-to-ceiling windows, and integrated amenities that make it feel like a city in the cloud. Purpose and function. The Burj Khalifa was designed as a mixed-use development, offices, private residences, the Armani Hotel, restaurants, and tourist attractions. It is both a business hub and a tourist magnet. Residents enjoy prestige, but they also share the building with millions of annual visitors, making it as much a public landmark as a private home. Burj Azizi shifts focus toward residential and lifestyle use. With more than 1,500 luxury apartments, exclusive penthouses, and a seven-star hotel, it's less about office space and more about creating a vertical city for living and leisure. Add to that a vertical luxury mall, the world's highest entertainment venues and spa-like amenities, and you get a tower that feels less like an office building with some extras and more like a luxury resort in the sky. Records and achievements. The Burj Khalifa's record list is legendary. Tallest building in the world, tallest freestanding structure, highest occupied floor, highest observation deck at the time of opening, tallest service elevator, its sheer number of world records cemented its status as a global marvel. Burj Azizi knows it can't beat the Khalifa on overall height, so it's chasing different kinds of records. The highest hotel lobby, the highest nightclub, the highest restaurant, the highest observation deck, even a museum dedicated to its own construction. It's less about being the tallest and more about curating unique, memorable experiences at new heights. Luxury and lifestyle. Living in the Burj Khalifa is all about prestige. Apartments are among the most expensive in Dubai, and the Armani Hotel sets the tone for understated elegance. Residents enjoy luxury amenities, but they also live in a building swarmed by tourists daily. It's glamorous, but it's also busy. Burj Azizi is designed to push lifestyle to another level. Larger apartments, floor-to-ceiling views, private lounges, pools, spas, and dining options built right into the tower give it a resort-like atmosphere. The seven-star hotel promises unmatched hospitality, while the vertical mall means residents never need to leave the building for shopping or entertainment. It's not just a place to live, it's an ecosystem system designed
designed to make everyday life feel like a luxury vacation. Khalifa is about prestige and global recognition. Azizi is about exclusivity and lifestyle refinement. Visitor experience. The Burj Khalifa has become one of the most visited tourist attractions in the world. Observation decks like At the Top and Fine Dining at Atmosphere make it a must visit for anyone in Dubai. Add to that its prime location next to Dubai Mall and the Dubai Fountain, and it becomes an entire day-long tourist itinerary. Burj Azizi, however, is building an experience for both visitors and residents. Beyond the observation deck, it plans to include the highest nightclub, restaurants, lounges, and even a museum of its own construction. Unlike the Khalifa, which is about prestige and views, Azizi offers experience, nightlife, culture, and entertainment all rolled into one. It may not attract the same number of tourists, but it could offer more diverse reasons to visit. Cultural impact Burj Khalifa is already a global icon. It's appeared in Hollywood blockbusters, hosted breathtaking fireworks shows, and become synonymous with Dubai's rise as a world city. Its very name, linked to Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed on the hand, ties it to the UAE's identity. Burj Azizi, being brand new, doesn't yet carry that kind of cultural weight, but it's aiming to position itself as the next symbol of Dubai's future. A city that isn't just about breaking records, but about refining lifestyle and offering unmatched luxury. If the Khalifa is the past and present of Dubai's ambition, Azizi may well represent its future. Engineering and technology. When the Burj Khalifa was built, it pushed engineering limits. New concrete technology was developed to handle the pressure. Wind tunnel testing was extensive. Double-deck elevators were revolutionary. It was the definition of pushing boundaries. Burj Azizi, built almost two decades later, benefits from technological evolution. It's expected to use next-generation elevator systems, smarter energy efficiency, and AI-driven building management systems. It won't just be about standing tall, it'll be about running smarter, greener, and smoother for both residents and visitors. Location and district impact. Burj Khalifa didn't just rise from the desert. It transformed downtown Dubai into the city's most famous district. Property values skyrocketed, tourism exploded, and the area became Dubai's heart. Burj Azizi will rise on Sheikh Zayed Road, Dubai's busiest highway, and one of its most recognizable corridors. The location ensures visibility and easy access. But unlike Khalifa, which was the anchor of an entirely new district, Azizi will boost and transform an already vital corridor. Its presence could redefine Sheikh Zayed Road into a luxury strip that connects downtown with Dubai Marina. Economic impact. The Burj Khalifa has generated billions in tourism, real estate sales, and branding value. It cemented Dubai as a must-visit destination for global travelers and investors. Burj Azizi is expected to drive a different kind of economic impact. By targeting ultra-high net worth buyers, global investors, and luxury tourism, it strengthens Dubai's identity as a hub for the ultra-wealthy. Its apartments and hotel rooms are expected to set new price benchmarks, further elevating Dubai's position in the global luxury market. Nightlife and entertainment Burj Khalifa offers fine dining, lounges, and experiences like at Atmosphere. But nightlife is not its central identity. Burj Azizi plans to flip that script. By featuring the world's highest nightclub, exclusive lounges, and immersive entertainment, it positions itself as the skyscraper where Dubai's elite come to play. This could make it a nightlife hub in ways the Khalifa never was. So which wins? So after all these comparisons, which tower truly wins? The Burj Khalifa will always be remembered as the tallest, the boldest, and the one that put Dubai on the global map. Its cultural impact is unmatched, its prestige unshakable, and its place in history secure. But Burj Azizi is not trying to dethrone it. It's trying to redefine what a skyscraper can be. With its ultra-luxury residences, record-breaking amenities, and futuristic technology, it may not surpass the Khalifa in height, but it could surpass it in lifestyle, comfort, and everyday experience. The Burj Khalifa is the king of ambition. Burj Azizi may well be the king of lifestyle. Together, they show two different sides of Dubai, one that conquered the world's imagination and one that is shaping the future of luxury living.